everyone, it's Delicracy here, obviously, and welcome to a brand new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Hampton Falls Part 14. I hope you have your tea ready because mine is steaming and I'm really excited for this episode because in the last episode, a hell of a lot happened and I did get to use the violent mod as well in the last episode, which I got really excited about because I'm totally messed up and I don't know, I like making Sims die and have bad things happen to them. I'm sorry, I can't help it. So in the last part, just to recap, we had a few bombs drop. If you understand everything that's going on in this Let's Play right now, you're really, really smart. It is a bit confusing. So Morgan is pregnant with Joel Harris's baby because they had a little rendezvous, but she has told Blaine it's his child and Joel still doesn't know that she's pregnant. But I feel like when he finds out she's pregnant, she's like he's gonna definitely know it's his. Furthermore, Crystal Harris had a party at her brother's house, which she moved into not long ago, and the party went off, they had a good time, but then Crystal got a little bit drunk and ended up woohooing with her housemate, which is her brother's friend, and Joel walked in on them. He totally went mental, he cracked it, and he like punched and strangled his housemate. Um, his housemate got away, luckily. Things are getting pretty heated in the LP and Joel is definitely gonna like kick his housemate out of the house or maybe they'll have to leave. I don't know how they're gonna sort it out, but that's what's happening right now. Anyway, that's enough explaining and recapping. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying the series and be sure to turn on notifications if you're enjoying it as well so you know when every upload is and you can get into it nice and early. Let's get into it. All right, so it is the day after the party. It's in the afternoon after school. Esther looks really, really tired and she's actually really enraged. She's feeling really moody and she's saying that she is not okay. She's looking herself in the mirror, trying to calm down. I mean, a lot's been happening for Esther. She kind of had this perfect upbringing. Everything about her is perfect. Her family is really wealthy. You know, she's got the perfect mom and dad. Um, and you know, her life has been totally turned upside down since her sister started going a little bit crazy and her brother moved out and now her sister's been kicked out of home. She doesn't know about her dad yet and his uh, identity overhaul that's happening behind the scenes, but Esther is still like pretty unhinged. So I think what she really needs now is her friends. Um, but first of all, I think she actually really needs to go to the toilet. What is Allison doing? She's like the crazy lady running around the night the neighborhood in her nightgown. I feel like all of these characters are starting to really lose it in this let's play. Let's play. Oh, I see. She likes the idea of getting a pet. Who is this little cat? Oh my God, it's a dog. I, <laughs> I totally thought it was a cat. Oh, hello. I feel like she could totally adopt this little doggy and make it her like new little friend. So it looks like when times are tough, uh, every sim has their own way of dealing with it. And it looks like Allison really did just love this stray. So I've gone ahead and added uh, this little sable stray uh, to Allison's family. And she absolutely loves it. But I think what they need to do is actually take take the dog to the vet because it's looking a little, a little sickly. So we will do that quickly. Oh, and look who it is. It's Ellie Dwight. So let's do like a funny little introduction. I don't know yeah. why Allison What's wants that? to be funny because she's not very nice, but <laughs> we'll do a funny introduction anyway. Sign Sable in for curing the sickness. By the way, I downloaded this lot and it is really, really cute. What a nice vet clinic. Uh, if I remembered who made it, I would give it to you guys, but I don't know um, who the original creator was, sorry. Okay, so it's taken a hot minute for Sable to be able to get looked at. I don't know, I guess the vet is really busy today, but Sable is going to be super cute and super adorable once he or she is better. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. And then we can put Sable into create a pet maybe and put a little cute bow on and really make it feel like Allison's little friend. Oh my gosh, look at Sable. I mean, this is the cutest dog ever. I'm so glad we found you. Oh my gosh, I want you IRL. Looks like Sable has girl scratch fever. Which treatment option would you prefer? Um, I mean, Allison is loaded, so we're going the expensive treatment. Spend no expense and cure your pet with the best medicine available. Okay. For sure. 750 simoleons though, that is a lot. Like pets are expensive in The Sims and they are expensive in real life too. I also cheated Allison's mood uh -huh. because she was like about to pass out because uh, the vet was glitching out so much. So excuse me, I'm sorry about that. 
Um, but yay! All right, well, let's get Sable into something really, really cute, like a little cute um, bow or something, or bow tie if Sable is a boy. Uh, let us see, actually, what Sable is. Okay, so Sable is a female, which is super, super cute. Uh, let's maybe get Sable, then a little bow. I feel like, oh, but then there's so many cute little hats. <gasps> Yes! I mean, Allison, it's Allison, you guys. Allison is going to go all out and give Sable something that a lot of people would cringe at and a lot of us would go like, oh, that's so cute. But I mean, hopefully Sable feels okay. I think we're gonna go with the red. I think the red bow is really cute. And oh my God, I almost wanna put Sable in like a little dress outfit. Oh my gosh, I can't, I have to, I can't. Is the little dress a little too much? No, never, never. Okay, Sable, you are all ours now and you look amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at Allison come home with little Sable. Like, what? Sable, you're adorable. I'm obsessed with you. I want you and everything to do with you. <laughs> okay, well, first things first, Sable definitely is going to need a few things in the household to make sure she is nice and comfortable. So let's just spoil Sable a little bit. Let's uh, maybe get a few pet things. Of course, Sable is going to need a little bed uh, to lie on. And of course, that is going to be right near Allison where she sleeps so we only need like a little bed should we go red to match her little bow at the end of the bed just like that uh and then of course we're going to need some food i personally like to get these feeders so the pets always have some food near them of course that is probably in the way of the coffee machine so we might just do a little sneaky and pop it there and then definitely we are going to need a few toys as well oh gosh that's a, that's a big toy that's a big toy let's put the big toy out there okay so allison is being a good puppy mom and she is filling up the puppy food so sable is going to be nice and comfortable here in this household i think and we'll also keep allison company oh my gosh you guys sable is watching the washing machine go round and round sable is the cutest thing ever Oh, oh, this is too cute. Okay, this is going to soften Allison I, a lot. I think having a new pet, I mean, this is like Allison's new baby. Maybe she will not be as much of a suck up to <laughs> Esther and Joel. Maybe now she'll enjoy having another baby to suck up to and to pamper. Sable is the new Esther, essentially. <laughs> So gorgeous. All right, you guys, so it is Saturday morning now and Esther is, ew, was that Terry? Ew, he just farted. I was going to say Esther's feeling a little bit lonely, I think, and I think she is going to go see a friend. Oh my gosh, Sable is already like super dirty and we just got home. Ew, Terry, what did you eat? He must have eaten like something nasty, nasty, nasty. Um, So let's do like a little bit of pet care, maybe give bath. And oh, she's such a good girl cleaning up the bathroom. I think she should go over to Bianca's house because she's really needing to speak with some to someone. And Bianca, if we go to the relationship panel, um, Esther doesn't actually have that many friends. Joel, she's pretty close to. Crystal, she's kind of losing a bit of relationship with since everything happened. Things are a little bit awkward, but she is feeling really close to Bianca. So I think she and Bianca should catch up this Saturday so she can talk about some of her issues. But right now, I just have to look at Sable because she's so adorable. <laughs> All right, so Esther is hanging out with Bianca here in the city in San Myshino in the beautiful gardens, which I absolutely love this part of San Myshino. I think it's so pretty. And anyway, Esther is kind of coming out of her shell to Bianca. She's explaining everything that's happening with her family. She's, uh, Bianca's probably like, yay, Crystal doesn't have to influence you anymore and be in your household. That's really good. Um, but that kind of looked like it upset Esther a little bit. <laughs> but Bianca's like, look, Crystal drives me nuts i don't know how you put up with her i think you're better off not being near her i think that's a really good thing oh, esther can be like i'm really glad that i have you as a friend because i have to tell you a secret i haven't told anyone yet but i am pregnant oh my gosh the perfect little esther is pregnant she's looking really 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 scared and afraid and bianca is kind of shocked i think she's probably like um so you haven't told anyone covering up the concern with a smile and being like don't worry everything's gonna be fine
All right, so we are at the bluffs with both of these guys and it's looking a little bit awkward. Oh, I feel God. like Noah took a while to know exactly okay. what to say Blasted. just now. But I think Akira is definitely really keen to get to know Noah more. I think Akira really likes the guy. I think he's, I think he thinks he's pretty cool and pretty gorgeous. And I think Noah would think the same about Akira. I mean, look at these two. They are, they are gorgeous guys. <laughs> Not to mention they're really nice as well. So yeah, I feel like Noah's probably apologizing to him, saying, "Look, I'm really sorry. I." I'm well, attracted to you. I just haven't done this before and I'd like to hang out and just have fun with you and get to know each other a little bit better. So it looks like they they are having a good laugh about it. And now are getting a little bit flirty. So things are happening and Akira is happy to warm up to Noah again. So I like that very much. I did want to get these guys together. So this is good. Oh my gosh. Akira's voice is amazing, and what is Noah trying to do? It's like, oh my gosh, she's like, you should get my mom to help you become famous or something. She'd love to. Akira, where do you think you're going? Oh, oh, it looks like uh, there's a bit of a flirty chat option coming here. Oh, Akira wants to uh, go swimming, does he? Cute, cute first date, you guys. Noah would be like, my mom could make you a star. Like, she's a manager of talent. Like, you should give it a go. Oh, you guys are so cute. Okay, maybe let's do a little bit more romance. Uh, let's maybe do kiss hands. Is that gonna be weird? Wait, if you kiss someone's hands in real life, like that's a pretty weird thing to do. But maybe in The Sims it's okay. Okay, so let's see how this goes. This is like the first kind of intimacy Noah has felt before with a guy. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is really, really cute. Can they go for a little bit of an embrace? Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not get too crazy. Let's maybe whisper seductively. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with these guys. Should we try first kiss? Maybe hold hands and then we'll try first kiss after that. Um, and if he gets rejected, I feel like Noah's never going to go towards Akira again. Akira's just showing off for a second here. Oh no, he's like, no, 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 I'm too scared. That is totally an Akira thing to do, I think. Okay, so how is this going to happen, you guys? He's like, you are really gorgeous. Oh my lord! Akira's like, Whew. Damn! Oh my gosh, Noah! He looks a little unsure. Oh my gosh! But he's totally into it. He's totally into it. Oh my gosh, look at how Noah looks at Akira! And they are doing this all by themselves. I haven't even asked them to. Akira's like, you're making me like weak at the knees. Uh, oh, drink birth control. I don't think that would be necessary. Uh, let's maybe, I mean, maybe they should think about going ahead and being together. Like, I feel like right now, even though it's really quick, maybe Akira could be like, I'd really love for you not to see anyone else. Like, I really want to get to know you better. And right now I just want to get to know you and no one else. So these guys are agreeing to be in a relationship right now. Um, I think both of them are going to make each other really happy. And I mean, for the time being. And I don't know. I think that jump just kind of symbolized Noah feeling free. And he does need to tell his family that he is gay and he is seeing someone um and we will have to see how that goes with the rest of the family dating exclusivity a relationship i mean because we don't have the dating option in the sims 4 um maybe they're not like boyfriend boyfriend yet but they're definitely seeing each other exclusively and have agreed to that so that is good why are you getting angry noah oh my gosh well this is cute and it looks like akira is going home now feeling really good about himself. So maybe uh, once Noah's gone for a little bit more of a swim, he can go home and actually come out to his family. Okay, it is now about 7.20 at night. So I'm thinking that Noah now his home should maybe, he's still feeling so happy and so flirty, which is really exciting and nice to see. Uh, I think he's going to maybe 
make his family dinner and kind of, you know what, let's not even do that. Maybe he'll just order the family pizza and be like, you guys are going to need, uh, you're going to need this because I want to talk to you guys about something. And, you know, maybe his family have had an idea that maybe he could be gay. Maybe it's a complete shock. I don't know. Um, but let's just get a pizza for everyone. Okay, so let's sit the whole family down. Okay, the pizza has arrived! Yay! Let's go get that pizza, Noah. Uh, there we go. He's like, thank you so much. You have no idea how much I need this right now. And I feel like Destiny would be a total health nut and be like, why are you ordering pizza? We never eat stuff like this. What if, what, if, what is going on here? I reckon his dad has an idea, just judging by his face. Maybe, he, maybe his parents have had an idea that he could be gay. Um, which I love. Oh, she's gonna sit right next to him. Oh, that is so cute. And Ajax, where are you at? Okay, so he's gonna just speak to everyone with his mouth full. Okay, so I think now is the moment for Noah to tell his family that um, he is seeing someone and that someone he is seeing is in fact a guy. And he's kind of like... <sighs> And yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. He's probably feeling pretty nervous. His mom actually looks a little bit shocked. But I think she's saying right now, you know what? Family is family. We stick together. We completely support you. And we're so happy that you will be that you were able to tell us. His dad is walking away. Maybe it's taking his dad just a moment to, you know, take it fully in. And his brother's kind of like, okay, well... Alrighty then. His brother probably doesn't even care that much. But then again, his brother's probably thinking about, I knew Bianca was always mine. Um, but I think the whole family's going to be really supportive. Where is he? Oh, he's probably feeling a little bit bad about his dad. So I think we'll get the dad to come straight back up. So his dad has come upstairs and has said, look, son, I'm so proud of you. Like, it took me a little bit by surprise, but... I think oh, you're father. amazing, ah, and I respect you, and I would love to meet meet this young man when when you feel ready to bring him around. Huh? And maybe Noah's like, well, I can show you pictures of him. He's Akira Mikitani. Oh, He's like, oh that. my god, Akira. <laughs> of course. He's a lot of fun, isn't he? <laughs> Great singer. Your mom has had her eye on him uh, to manage talent agency Wayne he's like yeah i keep telling you he could be amazing he could be super famous and ajax has come up to him and he's like look i'm not gonna lie at times i kind of thought something might be up but you know it doesn't change anything about us as brothers i'm proud of you so that is really nice noah has full support from his family um obviously mr mikatani would already know i think i presume he would already know that akira is bi uh, akira isn't gay he is bi so now Noah can go to sleep feeling happy. He has someone he's seeing right now. He's been open with his family. And I'm so happy that he's like laughing in his sleep. That is really, really cute. All right, so I just wanted to check up on Morgan again because she has grown a lot since the last part that we checked on her. Uh, she's pregnant as well, of course. And she looks like she is actually about to pop. Um, and I love how she's got a new like white active wear on whilst she's pregnant. Um, so that's good. She's probably craving a little bit of, what is this, mac and cheese? So eat that macaroni and cheese, girl, because you are eating for two. Yeah, she is pregnant in her third trimester, so she could pop at any point, which means we do have to keep a close eye on her. And Blaine is absolutely stoked about this. Um, so let's maybe kiss her cheek and sweet talk her a little bit. And Lauren's mm. probably, you know, she's probably Ooh, thinking, oh, mom's having a baby with my new stepdad. So she probably thinks, okay, that's... I guess normal and fine. Uh, little do they know. Oh, she's like, mmm, I love mac and cheese when I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh, I wonder if the baby will inherit her like super crazy eyes. I wonder. Now I want mac and cheese, you guys. I am so hungry right now. The only thing is she hasn't told Joel what is up and Joel is clearly the dad. So I'm like, is she gonna just keep it from Joel and not say anything? and it's gonna be really awkward and they just never talk about it? Or would she tell Joel, like, this is your baby and maybe that she wants to be with him? Cause I feel like she's strangely obsessed with Joel. Like, I feel like she's, her love is Joel. Her money lust was obviously for Blaine, but 
I don't think that she wants to like be with Blaine at all. And he is, he is starting to lose the plot a little bit. So I think Morgan's just gonna let Blaine know that she's just cleaning up and she's gonna go for a little brisk walk outside. He'd probably want to go with her and she's probably just gonna be like, oh no, um, no worries. I just want to go by myself, just get some quick fresh air. And she's definitely gonna go see Joel and be like, Joel, I need to talk to you right now about something important. Okay, so I think Morgan would probably like to tell Joel about the baby because in her mind, she is obsessed with Joel and and I think that having Joel's baby would obviously make Joel want to be closer with her. But I think she's kind of covering her bases in that she wants Joel to commit to her before she would leave Blaine. You know what I mean? Uh, right now, she's just saying the baby is Blaine's. So in case Joel doesn't want her, she still has a bit of security. So maybe let's get her to go over to Joel's place and see what happens.